The most challenging boss has a few weaknesses, so make sure to use them against child and win the fight mercilessly. The first phase of the fight is the easiest one, thanks to one simple trick. Just like Tartaglia, Child will only be using his bow for the most part during this fight, so avoiding him is easier because of how visibly clear his attacks are. And the best way to approach this fight is by moving in a circular motion. He has two attacks he uses most often. He either shoots his bow or creates a water wave attack. Now both of them can be easily avoided if you keep moving around him and after each attack you have a short window to deal some damage. One more thing to keep in mind is that you can actually avoid these attacks without even dashing as you only need to keep moving around him and only stopping for a brief moment once he's finished with this animation. So make sure to always keep moving in a circular motion and only stop for short amounts of time to deal your damage. The other important mechanic in this boss fight will be his riptide marks. Anytime you get damaged by either his shots or the wave attack, you will get marked with his riptide and some of the attacks that includes the giant whale he summons or the small area attack from the above will trigger the mark and deal large amounts of damage. Luckily for us, it seems to be you can easily remove this riptide mark by simply moving to the edge of the room, which will cause an elemental reaction without dealing any damage. Finally, the whale attack that many fear can be avoided by either moving to the edge of the room or directly towards Child himself. And keep in mind, when you're fighting in melee, you have shorter windows for your attacks, so it's essential you use your dash to cancel some of your attacks to longer animations if you don't want to get caught by Child's attacks. The most important thing you need to understand about this part of a fight is that you need to learn how to avoid his dash attacks. This is the second most tricky attack pattern he has, where he will perform 1-5 to five long range dashes. So the moment you see him lunge towards you, hold your dash button and start running towards the leftover particles you see from the dash you made. And depending on how many times he will do this, you will end up running sort of in a circular motion because after each dash he makes, the purple particles you run towards won't have him dashing there again, so you basically just need to keep an eye on the pad he keeps moving and then run there immediately. And this can sometimes get clunky, so don't be afraid of using your dash while running to boost yourself a little towards the leftover particles. With his most annoying attack out of the way, the next pattern he has is a little unfair, so you need to watch carefully his movements, because Child will randomly do up to 4 slash attacks in a row. Now the trick is, is that if he attacks only twice, then avoiding it is pretty simple and you can just simply dash away, but if he does his third attack, then it's basically a gamble, because the last follow up might not happen, but if it does, it's too fast for the player to react. Act. So the best way to deal with this would be to do a double dash right after he starts doing his third attack so that you can basically put yourself in a safe distance if he decides to do his final and quickest attack. And just like in the previous phase, if you get marked, make sure to run towards the edge of the arena so you can remove it. But if you're interested in baiting him, he does have a pretty long charge animation, so if you see him doing it, hug the arena wall right when he starts charging his ultimate and Child will make a fool of himself and land somewhere near you instead. Now you can use this opportunity when he's vulnerable and deal some payback damage. But if you don't get rid of the marked in time, then the attack you will do will be unavoidable, so the only way you can slip away from getting damaged is by activating one of your character bursts. Since during the burst animation, you will enter into what's known as an iframe, which makes you invulnerable to any damage you receive. And the longer the animation, the easier it will be for you to survive the attack. One great thing about the last phase of this fight is that Child won't initiate the fight unless you move close to him. So take this time and revive any of your fallen teammates and use your healers and food to replenish everyone to full health. Now this final phase of Child involves him using a mix of hydro and electro attacks, but just like in phase 1, his hydro attacks are pretty slow and easy to avoid, so you won't even need to dash or run and instead save up the stamina for his electro attacks. And this fight is basically a combination of everything you learned from previous two phases, except for the one tricky attack he has where he will do three massive slashes in the row, with the last one being a giant circular attack made in front of him. And the best way to avoid this attack would be by dashing directly towards him, where he will stay exposed for a few seconds. It's also worth mentioning that when fighting at close range, you can stand very close to him, do one or two attacks and then dash behind him, as most of his attacks begin in front of him, although be careful of his lunge attacks as seen from phase 2, and move towards the leftover particles from his attack. And as before, if you get marked, you can repeat the same trick and run to the edge of the room to remove it, or wait until until he starts charging his ultimate attack and then hug the wall right before he gets confused and instead lands near you for some punishment. The best way to prepare for this fight would be by bringing as many ranged characters as possible. There will be less risk involved when you're fighting him in mid-range with a bow or catalyst user, since you will have slightly more time to react and in general, it's just less dangerous because of the way he moves. Superconduct is also a great elemental reaction to bring into this fight, especially if you're going to use your physical heavy hitters. And if you're struggling with avoiding his attacks, you can bring an electro-resistance potions for his second and third phases, as well as eat some stamina reduction food so you can dash or run for a little longer. Either way, this is a fight that's more easier if you bring ranged characters, but is still manageable even with melee characters. 
The design behind Child Boss Fight is definitely very interesting, and it's clear that unlike Andreas and Dvalin, this is not a race to deal most damage, but instead, dodging the attacks and learning the attack patterns will prove most valuable. But to summarize, circular movement is the name of the game, so always keep yourself in motion and never move towards the boss, as most of the attacks are made to punish direct approach. And if you ever get marked by his attacks, always run towards the edge of the room, unless you have an elemental burst ready to survive through his ultimate attack. Finally, bringing ranged characters will definitely make the fight easier, as well as cooking up some electro resistance potions or stamina reduction food. Either way, this is a fight that rewards patience, so don't rush without a clear plan, and instead deliver a few attacks before falling back into your regular dodging strategy. And before you know it, Child will submit to your superior skills and hopefully award you with some exciting loot. Enjoy the video? Make sure to subscribe to us by hitting the bell notification and gently pressing the like button. You can get more useful Genshin news and guides by following us on Twitter from the description box below, and we've got more videos recommended for you so make sure to check them out thank you for watching us